Guys, welcome back. It is Racer X, and today I actually want to talk a little bit about my new daily, which is a Subaru WRX STI, little six speed manual car, a ton of fun to drive here. But actually I wanna see how this thing compares to the uh, to the 5.7 uh, Charger, which is the RT, and I wanna see which one is faster in a roll race. So it should be a lot of fun, guys. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, slap the like button, and we are off. Got the thousand horsepower helmet. Oh so a little while back, I actually did a review on the RT Charger, and I talked a lot about all the things that I like about that car in terms of its practicality, but also there's a certain measure of fun with that car. Um, that 5.7 liter Hemi is, uh, it's just a great package. It is a fun car to drive. It does a lot of things well. Well, <clears throat> I obviously decided to go a different route. I went with the uh, WRX STI and uh, a completely different driving experience. You're talking about a six speed manual, a uh, little high revving motor, a lot lighter car, um, but just a completely different driving feel. And really the biggest reason that I did that is because I already have a charger. As you guys know, I've got the, uh, I've got the Hellcat sitting here in the garage. Boom, there it is. And it of course is a, it's a charger already. So it didn't make a lot of sense, at least to me, to get another charger as a daily. I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, so these cars, while they can't be more different, I feel like they're going to make a really, really good little matchup when we go to actually race these. So not too long ago, I actually pitted uh, this car. This is the obviously the, the Subaru WRX STI versus my wife's uh, Scat Pack Challenger Shaker. And I'll tell you what, um, I thought that it was gonna be a little bit closer than it was. We did some pulls on the highway and she absolutely annihilated me. And uh, I was a little surprised at just how much faster her car was because she actually had time to, uh, to slow down, wait for me to catch up and then speed back off again. And she just really, uh, she was all over me, at least in a straight line. I think had we been on a road course, it would have been a different deal. Actually, let me show you just a real quick clip of that. Third gear punch from 50. Here we go, I'm gonna jump her this time, guys. Here we go. Okay, no. She... Here we go. <laughs> she's letting me, she's playing with me, look. Oh, she is gone. <laughs> oh, she walked me pretty good on that. She's got me by quite a bit, guys. So as you can see, it did not go well for me on that occasion, but the, a lot of comments that I got on that video were, look, you know, a better matchup for the STI, at least in stock form, would be the 5.7. Obviously, we're a lot closer in horsepower. Um, you're looking at like 372 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque, but you're also looking at a much heavier car. Um, I feel like the matchup between these two vehicles is going to be much, much closer in a straight line. So it should be a lot of fun to, uh, to kind of pit these two vehicles against one another. So I'm actually on my way uh, to my buddy Nick's house. You've seen his car on the channel one other time. He's got that beautiful um, Daytona RT. And uh, we're gonna see about just putting these down or putting these two vehicles kind of down through on the highway. Uh, we'll get a few pulls in. We'll see which one of these is actually the faster car on the highway. Like I said, on a road course, the STI I think would have it all day. I am working with the six speed manual. He's gonna have the automatic. So he'll have that advantage, but it should be a lot of fun. I will say now that I've had a few weeks in this car, 
You know, I know it's not the fastest thing in a straight line, but there are some things that I really, really enjoy about this car. Um, it's got a very advanced all-wheel drive system. It rained all day yesterday here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and I have to tell you, this car absolutely claws at the road. It's such a different feel than the Mopars that we have um, because, I mean, you just feel so in control, and even in the rain, you, you feel like you can just take corners at, at, at speed, and it's just a completely different driving experience, and I love the little turbo sound this thing has when that uh, you know when that turbo kicks off and it's just a, it's just a really cool fun little car it's not going to set the world on fire in terms of speed even if I modify it guys it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world but it is still a lot of fun and for a daily I have to admit I really really enjoy this car all right guys guess what I have uh, located my buddy Nick's car it's right behind me it is a 5.7 charger as we talked about of course, there's my car. It should be a lot of fun to race these two things. And uh, I do want to talk just briefly about the two, <laughs> the two motors in these cars because they are so incredibly different. Obviously, in the STI, you've got the horizontally opposed four-cylinder, 2.5-liter Porsche Boxer motor. And, of course, it is... Uh, forced induction it's got a turbo on it this is a naturally aspirated car of course a 5.7 liter hemi it's uh, of course it's got a lot more torque than the uh, than the little turbo car does but it is also heavier so it should be a really interesting comparison of these two so we're just going to go ahead and run them and see what okay, happens guys check it out you guys haven't seen him yet this is my buddy nick and uh his first time actually on the channel and uh, he's not used to roll racing so what i want to do is i want to actually we're going to go run up and down the street a little bit get him kind of used to the cadence when it comes to roll racing what rpm to be in to give him the best chance of uh, beating the sti so uh you know what we'll go give it a shot see what happens right, so now what you're going to want to do so you're going to want to get to about 60 miles an hour because that's going to be where we're going to want to about the speed we're going to want to hit right okay so lower your speed to 60 and then what i want to what i want you to focus on and you're in auto so you're good and you've got your paddle shifters so you can use them right they're on yeah. so what you'll want to do get down to 60 and then and then start downshifting with your left paddle keep it in, in, in drive because the car will shift for you now so go ahead and hit your left paddle until your rpms come up Watch your RPMs, keep going. Downshift, downshift again, until you're about 3,500. So downshift one more time, see where you hit. There you go, that's perfect, right there. So hit it again, uh, one more time, there, right there, no, go. And let it shift by itself, there it goes. See, car will do all the work for you. Feel how, feel how it gets that nice surge of power for you? That's, a, that's the sweet spot on this car, it's about 35, 36, 3,700, anywhere in there. See where you're at at 60. See, this is, that's perfect right there. 60, hold 60. Just hold it right there. Are ready? So it's one, two, three, go. Perfect. And just let it go. Let it ship by itself. There. Nice. She's rolling. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That's it right there. All right, guys, we just gave Nick the little uh, Racer X tutorial on roll racing. So uh, anyway, it should be a fun little uh, fun little deal. We'll go ahead and, uh, and see how the two cars stack up. Okay, I'm back aboard the STI. Nick is in his car. He's right up in front of me. And uh, we're going to give it a run here and see what happens. Looks like we're going to get a shot right here off the bat. So it should be, uh, should be pretty cool. I'm going to be in fourth gear on this one. Test your might. Ready? Here we go. Round one, fight. I'm pulling them. right there with me. Oh, the STI is starting to pull away a little bit. All right. <laughs> the car actually uh, pulled away on him a little bit there to start. I'm not sure if he got a bad start in or what happened. But uh, at any rate, we'll, uh, we'll get it a couple more times and see. I want to kind of give him the hit on one and see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. Here comes our next run. Round two, fight. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he's pulling on me just a little bit. Yeah. 
Impressive. I'll let him jump me. I can't pull him back. That was actually for more of like a 50 roll. So uh, that was a much better gauge there. He popped out on me and I just, I thought I was going to be able to pull him back. I couldn't pull him back. So uh, it, the cars are actually really evenly matched, it seems like. That was a good run. Final round. Fight. Here we go. Oh, we're right there. Oh, he's got me just a little bit. Oh, shoot. He got me ever so slightly between the shifts as fast as I could shift it. Um, I think he might have had me by a half car. It was, uh, but that was a really good race. Guys, I'm really, really glad uh, that you guys suggested that we run the STI versus the RT because these two cars stock for stock, his car stock, mine is stock. Um, they seem to be a really even matchup. It is literally like a driver's race. Whoever can get off really quickest, I think is just gonna, is gonna win. And I got to give some uh, go this way. Got to give some credit to uh, got to give some credit to Nick. I mean, this is his uh, first time ever really trying to roll race, and uh, I thought he did a pretty darn good job. You know, he's obviously it, it takes practice to kind of get off exactly when that third honk comes, and I mean, it's it's just it's just a cadence like anything else, guys. It's like getting used to it. But um, like I said, credit to him. He did a good good job with it. I guess we're gonna get in one more real quick. We'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, that wraps it up. We got about, uh, geez, four or five good runs between these two cars. Oh, yeah. And uh, so what do you think? Your first time roll racing, man. Did you have a good time with it? I have a great time, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Every single bit of it. We're going to get you hooked. We're going to get you hooked into racing. I'm ready. So. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a really good time. I want to take a second and thank you for uh, allowing sure, us sure, to borrow sure. your car, doing a little bit of roll racing, having a good time. And I got to say, man, these two cars are pretty evenly matched. Yes. They're very yes. evenly matched. So for those of you guys out there that run the RT, and keep in mind, Nick's a big guy. I mean, he's like 6'4", man. And like, he fits in this car so nice, and it's such a comfortable car, but it's still really fast. I mean, the STI is not a slouch. So anyway, guys, we had a great time running these two cars. They're very evenly matched, and I uh, can't wait to bring you another one. So uh, guess what? Till next time, Racer X. <laughs>
nothing to say. I'm done. Flawless victory. <laughs>